In this video, we will talk about scheduling someone to move out along with potentially disabling past due events. To do this, we will go into the operations payment screen, choose a particular tenant and the unit and click on schedule move out. Once we're in the schedule move out screen, we will choose that future date that they're going to move out. In this case, August 13th. If they are not going to pay their full rental period, and that is okay with your particular facility, then click Disable Past Due Events. If you do not click this button, and they partially pay their rent or not pay their rent for that time period, it's going to charge them late fees, lock them out of the gate, and go through that entire past due process. So it's imperative to think about that, whether or not you want that to happen. If someone's rent is due on the 1st, and they say they're going to move out on the 6th, then you're okay with that, and they're not going to be paying their full month's rent, if you do not have this check, they're going to be locked out of the gate and that's not a good situation to have. If later on we come into the screen and they tell us that they don't want to schedule their move out, they want us to continue to stay with you, you can click this cancel schedule move out button. It will not uh, have them scheduled to be moved out going forward. You will not see notification on their schedule move out date on their reminder screen to move them out. If they don't tell you they're going to stay, but they do in fact stay with you, after this time frame that's shown or displayed because of clicking the disable past due events, it will start to charge them late fees if they do not pay going forward. So with this disable past due events, it will not charge them late fees for a finite amount of time, but if they stay with you, it will go back and charge them late fees, lock them out of the gate and everything out with the past due process. Click OK, save it, give a reason why we're doing this, and click OK, and now the Option is going to come up to print an intent to vacate notice. We have the option of printing that, yes or no. And then the scheduled move out has been finalized.